Uh, Corey Blaine, do you do you want to talk about State of Decay? Yeah. Sure. Not? Yeah. Why not? So just uh, randomly out of the blue yesterday, uh, Corey, Corey Blaine, and I just booted up State of Decay Two. I believe me and Corey were playing on PC. Blaine was on Xbox, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we, I just I personally haven't played it in like forever. I just kind of randomly saw Blaine messing around with it. Um, but yeah, it's a fun open world survival game, and I had a significantly better time than basically every other time I played the game because the people I used to play with, they were incredibly slow to do stuff. They were kind of just general jackasses in general. Not not a great time to play it. But playing with Corey and Blaine were just like, we know what we're doing. We're just going house to house. We're going to kill these play carts. Good time. <laughs> when I played That's before, cool. it was just like, we're going to do like a play cart like maybe mm, every eight hours. I'm like, fuck, dude, this game is so fucking slow. That but, means uh, a lot to me, honestly, to hear that because, like, I used to be one of those jackasses when, like, I played games. Like, um, <laughs> it's very short story time. Like, I didn't realize what a prick I was when I played video games with people until I played Borderlands with my uh, friend Claudia and Left for Dead 2, my boyfriend. Um, they both kind of had a heart to heart with me. Like, listen, you can't fucking play games like this if you're going to be like this because you're just being a jerk. Like, it's not fun to play with you. I was, like, right. blowing things up and, like, randomly in Left 4 Dead 2. And like shooting my comrades, I was like just talking a lot of weird bullshit and like doing stupid shit in Borderlands too. Um, nobody wants to play with someone who just spends the entire time like fucking shit up. It's one thing if like you make a, have a goof happen or whatever, but like I, from what Jose was telling me, like his friends would literally like basically do whatever they could to just make shit as like frustrating as possible. Uh, the situation is a slight tangent from that. You brought up Left 4 Dead. See, like I have some friends like. They are very good friends of mine in real life, but man, do I not enjoy playing Left 4 Dead with them. I, I, because mm -hmm. one of them in particular is like the fucking worst when it comes to friendly fire. Like, yeah, like, okay, it's funny once in a while, like, or is a goof. When, like, when you're intentionally fucking blowing up propane tanks or tossing Molotovs, I mean, I'm just like, okay, look, you're making it so, like, let's actively not have fun in this thing we're supposed no, to be having exactly. fun in. Mm -hmm. And that was and, the hard uh, lesson I had to learn because I was doing shit like that. And, uh, in State of Decay 2, I, um, I'm not necessarily like, trying to throw these people in, but it's like like they're they're by definition shitty people. It's just like kind of gaming habits that don't necessarily coalesce well. <laughs> um, but yeah, like one of their strategies was let's let's grab a car, and cars are very fucking rare and say to okay, you are very lucky to find one. You have to maintain it, so you have to use repair kits, you have to put fuel in them. Uh, their primary strategy was using the car as a primary weapon. So <laughs> nine times out of ten. All right, we never had a car because we would just kind of waste them and then we're having to jog all the way back to home base and it it's just not a fun time i very appreciated the way that Corey and blaine were, were going about things yeah i um i'm i'm like i said uh to you guys in um private chat is that uh i typically with state of decay um i am a slow player um so and i typically when i play multiplayer games like i'm i'm not aggress i'm not aggressive um, when I start out, I'm not really aggressive or anything. I just kind of play it safe or I, you know, typically play multiplayer games the same way I would play a single player game. And I just kind of enjoy it for myself. And I think, uh, adding friends is like, it kind of enhances the experience and it makes things go faster than it would if I were playing it by myself. And so when you guys were, when I entered into the game with you, um, with you and Blaine, then it sort of it started going a lot faster than I was used to. And I was like, Oh my God, that's right. There's two extra people here and we can like get shit done like on the dime. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Let's do this shit. Like I, I like I get, I, I get there's those people that like, they just want to F around in a game and they, and they want to explode things and not take a game seriously. But um, I feel like that's kind of something that people need to grow out of. Uh, Cause that's like, that's like the, that's like the kind of what a kid does in Grand Theft Auto. You want a game like that? I was that, just go, about to bring that up. Go play Grand Theft Auto. Don't, there, don't there, like. There's so many times where I'd go over like room. a, yeah, I was, yeah, I was there's the so many times I, was, I would like go over a friend's house who played Grand Theft Auto and I can like nine times out of 10, none of them had ever started a single goddamn mission in there. Like, it's just like, I don't know, let's spawn a tank and just shoot it like random buildings in the neighborhood That's until we, we did die when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah, it's not it's necessarily like, wrong. People can play the game how they want, but it doesn't necessarily no, make yeah, for a super fun experience when other people are trying to play the game. 
No, it's true. It's it, I'm not to shit. I'm not trying to shit on people necessarily that want to play it that way, but it's it's frustrating when you're playing with when you are playing with other people um, who literally just want to bullshit around when you actually want to like experience the game and like do missions and like do the story and stuff like that. And, you know, actually build a community and survive the apocalypse Mm -hmm. together the way that it was intended to be played. Um, I feel like a lot of it even comes down to like, you know, we're all adults. We don't have as much time as it used to. And right. so I'm just like, I, I have like an hour or two. I can play this. Can we not spend 30 minutes uh, ogling over our inventory at the home base? Can we just like grab something and go? Yeah, exactly. Literally. Yeah. So it just, um, it's fun. I can't wait for State of Decay 3 because it looks beautiful. Um, and I just, I love me a good zombie survival game. We're getting a lot of good zombie games this year. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you that much because we're getting State of Decay. We're getting Resident Evil Village. We're getting uh, freaking B- uh, Back for Blood. Oh, I'm going to be know? all over Back I'm, for Blood. Yeah, that's Back the one I'm for looking Blood. Forward to. Turtle Rock being like, fuck you, Valve. If you're not going to let us make Left 4 Dead 3, we're just going to make our own IP that's basically the same game, but like exactly. I, exactly. I hope it has crossplay, but I will, I'm probably going to be getting it on PC. Mm hmm. But um, yeah, Seda K, pretty good game by yourself. Really fucking fun game uh, with a good group of friends. Oh, yeah. 100%. Especially when you have like 10 bullets to your name and there's a juggernaut charging at you and me and Corey are just taking turns distracting hey, it so we can slice so we can slash you know it. Who, you know who also has Xbox Game Pass and should play with us? Sarah. I like survival <laughs> games. I'm sorry. Even if I'm playing with friends, I have to worry about how much fucking water I drink on a daily basis. I don't want to worry about how much my character's got to drink. I mean, that's, drink. Just, that's just the, too much. It, it's well, not no, that in depth, survival to be honest. Switching out character. It, it's literally like if you have playing as a character for too long, they get sleepy or they get injured and you have to switch them out. You have health or sta- you have health that's and stamina. I need that's to it. worry about. Like that's still something I need to worry about. When I play games, I, mean, I want to worry about my health and who I'm fighting and like that's it. I think that's basically every game though. It's just it's not survival games are not my thing. They never will be. Um when I first played Fallout 3 for like the first time and someone's like, "Don't drink radiated water." I'm like, "Then what the fuck am I supposed to drink?" Like it's like I'm sorry. Like what do you <laughs> I don't know if I do. I don't think I've ever get right away. I don't think I've ever drinking anything in a Fallout game. It's I just like I just my I, character does not require H2O my, to survive. I just I can't but it do gives you HP. Survival games give me too much anxiety when I'm already playing shit. <laughs> just like I don't want to have to worry about like what my character eats and what my character Sarah drinks. Sarah has to worry about fire. real life. To counter Thank your you. point yeah. about Sarah has to <laughs> Sarah has to worry about the five million things you have to focus on while playing WoW. <laughs> Yeah, um, thank you. And it's all about surviving. I need to survive. Blaine, why do you need H2O when you can just wait in place for 24 hours and regenerate your health? That's how real life works. Right. Oh um, 